In this video I want to show you how you can retrieve your notes from Noteplan. If you have just 10 or 20 notes, it's very easy to find them. You can just look at your sidebar and browse through it. But once you have hundreds or even thousands of notes, it becomes a real challenge. And here are at least five ways how you can find what you're looking for. And they're sorted by priority, so the first one is the most effective. Okay, let's just start. Uh, command bar search. In command bar search, you're searching inside the titles of your notes and you can activate the command bar through command J. And then just type in what you're looking for. For example, in my case, I was I am looking for a note with the keyword heavy lift in it. This is the second note. And this is how I could find it. So it makes sense to have very long and descriptive titles, then it's easier to find them. And in the command bar search, which is similar to a quick switcher, is very fast because it just searches the titles and not the full note. Okay, let's go to the next one. If you can't find the note with a keyword in the title, you can use the full text search. And this searches also inside your notes. And you can activate this by clicking on search in the sidebar in the top left, or you type command shift F and then just type in the term you're looking for. And it will look through all your existing notes and show you the results. And one trick, you can open uh, a search result which opens the node and jumps to the place where you could find the keyword by pressing option and then on the search result you can open it or the, you can open the node in a split view. Or you press command and click on the search result and it will open it inside a new window. Okay, let's go back. So if you couldn't find what you're looking for through the normal full text search, you can go uh, to browsing through your folders. And this works really well if you have a system like Para or if you follow a system similar or exactly like Para. You, can ha you uh, usually have a folder for your projects, areas, resources and archives. And inside your projects folders, you would have different folders for different projects. And what you do is, if you have a node which belongs to a project, you put it into this folder. So it becomes easy just to browse this specific folder and find similar nodes. For example, I have, a, I have the folder areas and in areas I have marketing and this is where this node lives. And there I also have an outline for another video about meeting nodes, for example. And through browsing I can also find it if I can't find if, if I can't, can't remember a keyword inside the node. Okay, let's jump to the next one, which is tags and mentions. You can use hashtags for things or projects and you can use mentions for people. For example, if you have tasks which a colleague needs to, to do or you need to follow up with a colleague, you can, you can tag it with a mention like at Frank or at Michael or whatever. And if you have projects, you can also use like a project status, something like waiting for or other things. And I use them mainly to tag my book notes. For example, I have book notes for Second Brain. And you can now jump to this or find all notes which have this tag. And I'm using a nested tag in this case, which is books slash Second Brain. And you can search for it in the command bar for example, second brain, and here it is. Or you can go through the sidebar, which has a section for hashtags. You can find it here as well. Or you just, if you have it written somewhere, you can just click on the link and it will open all the notes which contain this tag. For example, here are all my notes so far for the book Second Brain. Because this works well for me, because I'm always writing um, below the title I'm writing source um, and then the tag uh, from where this note is coming from. Okay these are tags and mentions. This works well if you have already some kind of category in your mind. For example book notes in this case. And the last one is serendipity. This works really well if you're using backlinks and if you connect your notes to each other. For example, let's go back to my heavy lift node. Heavy lift. And you see I have seven references here. I open it. I have a couple of nodes where I can just click on them and jump to them. And I also can now browse the folder here 
or I can just click on links inside the node or I can also look at the back, back links which this node has. And this way I can basically jump through from node to node, f forward and backward and find what I'm looking for just through serendipity. So, so basically randomly I can find nodes which I'm looking for. But these nodes I'm linking because they are similar to each other or follow a, the same topic or is kind of a thought which I am developing. This works for book notes, but this also works for complicated problems in your projects. For example, if you can't figure out something right away, you can create a note uh, which uh, handles one small part of the problem and then connect it to another note. Let's go back. This is serendipity. And there is a bonus way how you can find notes. This is filters. This is very similar to the full text search. It is basically you can save your full text search. And you can find this in no plan below the search button, which is called in filters. For example, I have created here one for my second brain notes of for heavy lift. I can also change the cue. So these notes you can you can apply filters to them. You can tell Noplan where to search in your regular notes, in your calendar notes, even events or reminders. And you can tell Noplan what status you want. If it's if you're looking for tasks, for example, you only want to search for open tasks, only for completed, for scheduled or for cancelled tasks, or no status at all, so also bullet points and other things. And you can also apply time frame filter if you just want to see the notes in the past. This works only with calendar notes though or you want to see only nodes which are in the future, then you can use this filter and you can also say how it should sort it from future to past or from past to future. And you can limit the search if you're looking for regular nodes uh, to a specific folder here. And let's type in the second brain, for example. Apply it and then you, you see this filter is now saved. So I already have a tag for it, but if I wouldn't use a tag, and instead it's just a keyword like source second brain without the hashtag, I could also find it through this method. Okay, these are all the methods you can use to find nodes in Noplan. And I hope this video was useful to, for you and thanks for watching.